In this video, we're going to do a calculation for an ocean container. The idea is that we will have an order or some type of manifest that needs to be calculated to see how it fits. First step is to come over here to Truck Manifest, select New. It takes me to this new screen where we see kind of four general areas. Up here we've got what we call the Tabs Quadrant. Over here, a graphical showing of what it is that we're going to be loading. So I'm going to come over here and change that to a C-band, double click to add it to my selected vehicles. Down here we have your SKU list, which will be populated with all of your various products that could appear on an order or manifest. And what we need to do is populate this manifest list with the various items of an order. I'm going to come down here and I'm going to double click to add these four items to my manifest. We're going to give them quantities. So I've entered in these quantities and I can already see the total amount of cube as well as total weight for this manifest. Now I can right click and hit properties and go ahead and add in a few other useful columns. So we've got percent cube and percent weight. So I can add those in and see that for each line item. If I click on my 40 foot high cube, it'll actually total those up for me. So I can see even before calculating, we're at 84% uh, capacity uh, as far as liquid volume for this container. So let's see if this actually even fits. So I come up here to calculate. All right, so that gives us uh, a look at one possible solution for how to load this container. So down here, we've got a, a short list. Uh, the first one here is a load front to back algorithm. We can actually see this space evenly algorithm. It's going to be a little bit different look on how to fit this into the container. So I can tell right away that there is uh, no items in the cut list, meaning that all items from the manifest were able to fit in this container. Down here we can see in the placement list the actual groupings, how many there are in each one. For instance, uh, 144 of this particular SKU is here in this placement. Uh, the load list will tell me just how much of each line item there is in this container and then the cut list would be empty. So let's see if we can actually fill this up with a little bit more product and maximize our cubic efficiency. So I can hit pick list, I can return and I'm going to increase the amount of product for that line item and actually go ahead and add completely new product. Let's do 32 of these. Now I'm going to recalculate. Okay, excellent. So everything fit yet again. We have even got just a little bit of extra space up here at the top, but now we have a very full container and we're happy with the solution. So I can click in the yellow and use my arrow keys to rotate it and take a look at this entire solution. Thanks for watching.